This is the world's first live daily LGBTQ evening news show, literally out of the closet and into the headlines on Queer News Tonight with Al Ferguson. Today, he helps gay and bisexual men who are sex addicted have the confidence to be resourceful, peaceful, and serene in all circumstances and thrive as healthy individuals. Welcome. Well, thank you. That's an interesting intro, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we are the reporters for Queer News Tonight, and this evening we begin with the queer headlines. The LGBTQ plus community in South Florida and across America is diverse. Our community across the world is vast, and here are the bullet points of the queer news for today, Tuesday, May 9th. Well, first they push it on. Well, I, it sounds like that they're they're pursuing all men and women are created equal, mm -hmm. and that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Which is identity <laughs> politics. <laughs> We're all created <laughs> equal, yeah. Yeah. and who cares what you do? No, if you're a productive member of society, who cares what you're doing? That's exactly it. Absolutely. Yeah. No connection. Yeah. I think what's happened in our society is the gay and lesbian youth and transgender youth are more comfortable to be more open and come out and share their orientation early. And I think society is getting scared of it. It's always been like that. It's just that back in the day, you know, a gay man might not come out till he's 60, it was married with two kids. Now he can come out. Right. So he lived his life right. living how he didn't want to. But today, because they're coming out so much earlier, I think there's a society fear of that. Well, what's causing that? Well, the drag queens must be forcing that yeah. on the kids. Or yeah. I don't necessarily support or not support rainbow capitalism. I mean, they're, they're putting a lot of emphasis in June, but that's our statement month. That's that's our month too. So I think that them supporting that, even though, even though they're supporting with emphasis for one month, that's going to be a permanent memory. I mean, you're always going to look back and be, well, they supported the gay community. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that they're not going to support it in July. I just think they're making a statement for us the month we celebrate, it's like Mother's Day. Well, we should celebrate mom every day, right? Mm -hmm. But we put a little emphasis on Mother's Day. It's the same thing. So I think it's a permanent support, even though they're throwing emphasis on one, one month. And, and speaking of supporting the community, lots of mayors in Florida have done that. Rob, you're going to tell us all about that. We are. Next, let's queer up South Florida and Florida. Mayors across Florida pledge to support LGBTQ plus community. Florida mayors across the state are speaking out in support of the LGBTQ plus rights in line of several bills which are targeting the community that have been passed by the state legislature and are heading to the desk of Governor Ron DeSantis. At least eight mayors from Orlando, Miami Beach, Tampa, Tallahassee, and more have signed the pledge in support of the LGBTQ plus advocacy organization GLSEN or Gleason in its Rise Up campaign. Fort Lauderdale's, op Fort Lauderdale's open gay mayor, Dean Trentella, said, quote, In Fort Lauderdale, you can be who you are without fear of reproach, discrimination of any kind, particularly towards our LGBTQ plus children, has no place in any part of our society. Greater Fort Lauderdale boasts one of the highest concentrations of same-sex households in the nation. And we welcome, on average, over 1.3 million LGBTQ plus visitors each year. Unquote. Very impressive. The Rise Up campaign also advocates for LGBTQ plus affirming books, resources, and curriculum, as well as advocacy against anti-LGBTQ plus bills and rhetoric. Florida has been leading the recent wave of legislation and policies targeting the LGBTQ plus community. The bills recently passed by the Florida legislature include a bathroom bill that bars transgender people from using restrooms or changing facilities that do not align with their gender assignment at birth. Another bill expands the parental rights in education law, which has been dubbed the don't say gay law by critics. Um, I had Googled earlier today, and this was an interesting uh, read that I had here, very, very short. I Googled, should laws change with the times? And it says, values across society change over time. What people in society may consider important and relevant within one generation may alter over a transitional period of time. In order to remain relevant, the law must uphold and reflect the values and beliefs of society in the present time. You know, and we have progressed with our laws significantly over the last several decades, amazingly. And here we are now going backwards. You know, so not, we're not staying relevant with the present time. We're LGBTQ plus one minute news, let's queer up technology. TikTok reveals it created a list of people who view LGBTQ plus content. 
According to former employees who spoke to the Wall Street Journal, TikTok users who watched LG LGBTQ plus content were included on a list that could be viewed by authorized staff. Users were identified by their ID number, which TikTok gives each user when they start watching videos on the popular app. In its report, the journal notes that the practice took place for at least a year and was done to understand trends and find ways to boost engagement on the platform. The employees said that TikTok also created lists of users who watched different content, but those topics were not considered to be sensitive. That is today's news for the LGBTQ plus community on the world's first and only daily LGBTQ plus evening news show. And on behalf of these LGBTQ plus reporters, the anchors of Queer News Tonight, including Bad Poppy, Dan Rios, Dr. Bobby Hewn, and Rob Lapacola. We will see you daily at 8 p.m. And to our LGBTQ plus world, we wish you good, good night. night. <laughs>